Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sebastian and I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing my recent pickups and purchases. I don't have too many, but I do have a few good items to take a look at. I know it's been a little while since I posted recently, but I hope this video makes up for that. I do want to be posting a little more frequent. Um, please let me know what you guys want to see in the, in the future, as you know, my ideas are kind of running low. But, I hope you also like this like kind of sit down style want to change it up a little bit so without further ado let's get straight into it I have some pants I have some outerwear pieces some accessories and stuff like that so let's get straight into it this is that I picked up was this chrome hearts hoodie I actually wore it in my last video um, some of you probably saw that and um, I picked it up because it just fit really well it was something different I don't really have any graphic hoodies like this so I thought it was a good purchase it is the new Maddie boy um, chrome hearts concept like piece super cool um, definitely different from what I'm used to and I think the detailing is really simple the, the back is a bit loud but I think the sleeves and like the subtlety of the front really make up for it fitting really well on my body this is a size large and it does fit me like I don't know it fits me like a medium has really good shape it's a little cropped in the body and a little longer like flowy and I'll show you kind of how that looks And here are some details. So the sleeving pattern is gonna have that like cool flame pattern with the little Maddie Boy lips embroidery on the front chest, left side of the chest. It does just say Chrome Hearts. And then the back, of course, having all his infamous artwork and cool little details on the back. And it does have the little Chrome Hearts banner on the bottom. But this piece is being is one of the newest pieces from this like graphic collection and I think it's just really well suited for my closet so this is one of my first pickups all right moving into the second piece I do have a vintage bomber jacket as I don't have too much outerwear because I do live in Miami I did want to pick up something kind of unique and something kind of different from what I would normally want um, this being just a vintage bomber jacket it is that classic you know military jacket does have the orange interior it is reversible and I purchased this one off of grill I think it was $90 it fits really well it's short it says that it was a size like extra large slash large which I did want something a little bit bigger oversized this one ended up being a little shorter in the arms and body but it ended up working out because I kind of prefer this style on myself so um so it is like a 1990s bomber jacket this is a true vintage piece and it is just that MA1 style. Has really nice, a really nice shape, oversized in the back area, really wide, but fits really well on me. And like I said, I don't have too many outerwear pieces, so I thought this would just fit in perfectly. I am looking to purchase some more like bomber jackets like this, not in just vintage, but definitely from Hyder Ackerman since they have some quality pieces. This one just kind of starting that journey of bomber jackets. Will be in the wardrobe for a while. So this being the MA1 bomber jacket, it is kind of worn and torn as it is a vintage piece, but I think it looks, it's like worn in perfectly. So that's that. So up next, I got this vintage t-shirt. Um, this one being from Mills Vintage, which is a local Miami vintage store. They always have really great pieces. I usually always purchase from them for vintage tees. Um, purchase this Faith No More t-shirt. This one is, honestly, I don't know much about it. Uh, I will be straightforward with you guys, but I do really like the graphic and design. The overall cut and shape is just phenomenal. It's it's one of my best fitting, best graphic um, vintage, vintage tees that I do own. 
Um, like I said, it is one of my new found favorite vintage tees. The overall shape, this is an extra large just for reference. And recently I've been kind of looking to find some bigger oversized pieces like this one. And this one is definitely just fits really well and is gonna be a huge piece in my wardrobe to wear. Like I said, it is larger, so you see in the body it has that wider shape. The sleeves do come down pretty long, and it just is a very nice pickup for me. The graphic is completely intact. It literally looks like hasn't aged too much, so I definitely will be putting age on it. It is single stitch and is a beautiful t-shirt in my collection. Um, I'll show you kind of how that fits in just a second. Moving right along into bottoms, I did just purchase this pair of Chrome Hearts denim. This being the black on black pair, which is definitely super subtle, clean, and straight edge. Um, this one in comparison to my blue denim pair definitely has some more patches. So you see it has that triple patch here on the right hand side. Um, it has a really good fade. It, it To me, it honestly looks like this pair was a blue denim pair. And it just faded so down that it almost looks black now. Um, you can just really see it in person and up close. The details, of course, um, same as a classic Chrome Hearts denim. This one just being an all black pair. Um, also, for reference, this is a size 32. And recently I've been liking these baggier, bigger silhouettes on me. So this size 32, it does fit me a little bit bigger in the waist, but overall in the legs, I think it fits great. Um, like I said, this is a, um, a more subtle silhouette, which I really do prefer as of late because it's kind of just the, the little details you can see. Um, it's not too loud and flashy and it's super simple and it's very wearable. It's almost like a, just a full black pair of denim because the patches aren't too loud and contrasting. Um, of course, Chrome Hearts craftsmanship is 10 out of 10, so all the rivets and detailing on the pair are sterling silver the buttons everything um was super lucky to get this pair in store and definitely a pair that i will keep in my wardrobe forever um now i do have the blue and black pair maybe in the future i get some more pairs but i wish my blue pair did have as many patches as this one here on the top where my blue pair has more like scattered around just single patches but this is just a great piece that i have in my wardrobe now and I'll show you some details and how it fits in just a second. So moving right along into a sneaker purchase of my recent pickups, I did make a full video on these. The Lon Von Curb Sneakers, Curb Skate Sneakers. So definitely a different pair for myself, something really different. Um, I fell in love with these after seeing some other Instagrammers post them on social media. Virgil Abloh also posting them and making them look really well with his outfits. Um, like I said, I do intend to wear baggier silhouettes. So this paired with a baggier pair of denim definitely hits the mark for me. Um, I did make a full video on these, but I will just show you kind of how they look in hand, and I just will show you how they look on feet. The big laces are the main selling point on the sneaker. Of course, the sneaker does remind us of the 2000s skate era, where the chunky shoes with the DCs and Osiris's, and I think they've just done it super tastefully, and it just looks really great paired with a baggier pair of denim. So that's them, the Lon Von Curb Skate Sneaker in the all black color red way. I did go with a size, I believe, 42 on this. I do wear true to size 10, but 42 fits really well, so.
So my last pickup being this accessory, this being the Prada nylon men's crossbody shoulder bag. I really purchased this just for everyday use, um, for work and stuff like that. It does have enough space for like my everyday essentials, my keys, my wallet and stuff. Um, it is also something that I will tend to wear on a day-to-day -day basis because of how nice and how subtle it is. Looking at the bag itself, it does just have that Prada emblem, the, the two little clips here, and it just does open up into the bag itself. Lots of space, lots of compartments, and definitely a great piece to have um, for someone that was looking for a bag that they can just beat up and not really worry about. It is a full nylon with, uh, I believe, this cotton canvas trimming, and it just has that sporty Prada strap. You know, can't go wrong with this. It's a very simple piece. And I think it just works really well with my wardrobe as it's all black and very subtle. And there's that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's been a little minute. Um, please let me know what you guys want to see in the next couple videos. I hope you guys like my pick pickups and purchases. Um, definitely we'll have some more in the future and That's that. I hope you guys stay safe and have a good one and take care. Peace guys